All right, guys. So I'm talking about a couple of new, cool new medical kits that I discovered here at um, at uh, PrepperCon this year, and I've got one of them right here. Then I've actually got one. My keys. I've got one here in my um, 3V gear bag here, and we'll kind of go over that a little bit too. But what's cool about these bags is one thing I haven't really thought about is you know we we prep, we get our food storage, we try to buy food that'll last 30 year shelf life, 25 year shelf life, you know, quite a long time. We have our water and we have our first aid. Everyone builds a nice first aid kit with, you know, a personal, like a personal IFAC. And one thing that I don't think we all think about is that first aid, I didn't think about this. And I asked him, like, why do you guys put them in this Mylar bag and why is it all sealed? And I'm like, is that just to be waterproof? And he's like, well, yeah, that's uh, the guy over at Survival Medical. That's the company that makes these. Um, he said, you know, we, we make them waterproof but we also seal them for freshness. And I thought, well, that's weird. And he, this, the guy that started Survival Medical, is a, he's owned a medical supply company for many years. And he said that the first aid supplies go bad. And I'm like, you know what? I hadn't even thought about that. I know like sea locks and things like that, it will definitely have a shelf life and it will expire, but they're also sealed until you use them. But what about like your gauze and your tape and you know, your other, um, other first aid products you have they're eventually gonna go bad and what happens if you had it in your bag bug out bag for 10 years or whatever and you had to use it and you hadn't replaced it well guess what you know it's gonna it's not gonna work it's not gonna be effective and that could you know, that could be really really serious so what they've done is they did a bunch of these sealed kits they also had a kit um, and I'm gonna yeah I think I'll just take this off so I can kind of show you got it on my 511 molly panel that I'm probably going to do a separate video on because these are awesome. Alright. We got a little med kit here. And they have a couple different kits. I picked up two from them and I wanted to show you. And the reason why I keep it in there like this is because it stays fresh. And I know that sounds funny, but this is what they call their on-the-move kit, and this is what they call their backcountry ultralight. They had a backcountry light. They have first aid in a can, like one of those sealable um, uh, buckets, five-gallon buckets, and it has the little seal on it. They had all this first aid stuff that I thought was super neat. So I picked up a couple of these from them, told them I'd do a product review. Um, what the on-the-move kit includes, and it's all sealed, you can see the seal hasn't been broken and I don't really want to break it. I thought about I'll take it all out and take all the contents out and I'm like, well, that kind of, I mean, you can reseal it and that will make it last longer, but with that extra seal, this is going to last quite a long time. I think they said a 20 year shelf life on this. Um, that's kind of what they had to say. I guess it could last longer. So what you get on the on the move kit is quite a bit of stuff. You get a four inch elastic bandage, a SWAT T tourniquet, uh, burn gel, alcohol pads, iodine, a large six large four no, six large adhesive bandages six alcohol pads four iron pads six medium adhesive bandages one two inch gauze one six inch gauze roll one roll of one pa paper tape one mylar emergency blanket one quick clock quick clot 25 gram uh, one four by three non-adherent one two excuse me two four by three non-adherents two two by three non-adherents one medical shear one forceps one pen light one tweezer two sterile nitrile gloves, six triple antibiotic ointments, six safety pins, one emergency pressure dressing, six wound closure strips, two medium butterfly closures. That is a good kit, guys. That is quality stuff. It's not full of band-aids and crap like that. This is like the perfect kit to put in your bug out bag because it's, it's not gonna go bad. It's gonna have a long shelf life until you need to use those supplies. It's got quick clot, it's got a tourniquet. I mean, it's pretty much a personal IFAC. I also picked up a they have an Israeli style bandage that they um, that they offer. It's all sealed like an Israeli, and this is their brand. Um, but it's an, basically the same equivalent of an Israeli bandage, also sealed. So I think this kit is going to handle anything that you get thrown at you guys. I mean, you can supplement it. That's why I have it in this little bag. I've added some medications for my family and such. And I'll go over the contents and the bag separately, not in this video, but. So that, that's an awesome pack. Then you have the Backcountry kit, ultralight kit, um, with moleskin, four triple antibiotics, uh, two towelettes, four bite and sting reliefs, two alcohol prep pads, two adhesive bandages, 
two large adhesive bandages, two burn gels, three wound closure strips, kind of like a butterfly strip, uh, three non-adherent pads, one, an iPad, uh, one two-inch gauze, waterproof tape, emergency survival blanket, and tweezers. So I got this as a, I'm going on a hike with my family, or I'm going on a hike by myself, not gonna be long, gone longer than a day. It's a nice little kit, it's super lightweight. Again, that long shelf life, and it's, it's just awesome. I mean, these guys are making some great stuff. Survival Medical, guys, check them out. Go on their website. Uh, this was like 60-something bucks at the show for the on-the-move kit. And if you think about that, I think it was $68, and it may be more on their website because they do a little bit better pricing for the shows. But I priced out adding all these things into this kit, and it was way more expensive on Amazon. And throwing a bag like this, and we'll go over the bag again separately, and you've got a, a really good med kit for your bug out bag. Um, throw something like this in your in your backpack when you go hiking with your family or just by yourself. So you always have first aid on you, or in, you know you could put this in your car kit or something. Nice little you know quality quality stuff that's going to have a long shelf life. It's something we I don't think we we really think about in first aid. So I was very impressed by this at PrepperCon. Great guys uh, over there. I'll link their website down below where you can purchase these these kits. But I definitely give them uh, my a two thumbs up and, a, and an endorsement. And I, this is like this is actually in my bug out kit. This whole kit here, and I'll go over like and what's more in the contents of this bag in a separate video. But thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video.